How's it going everyone? Welcome to Shifting Lanes. My name is Hanson and for this video I'm sitting in the 2023 Hyundai Palisade. First off I want to thank Hyundai for loaning me this tester for the entire week. This one is in the calligraphy trim with all-wheel drive which means that this is the most feature-packed trim of the lineup and it can be yours after delivery for $52,310. And if you ignore any potential markups and assuming you can find one of these things this might just be the best bang for your buck three row SUV. And in this video, I wanna give you my personal rating on five categories, the exterior, interior, the technology, power and driving experience so that you have a better idea before buying this Hyundai Palisade. And at the very end of the video, I wanna give you my overall rating of this SUV. So if you wanna jump into any of those sections, check out the chapters down below. That being said, let's get this review started and I wanna start with the outside first. For the 2023 model year, the Palisade gets a pretty drastic redesign on the front end. Hyundai is going for a more luxurious design with the individual shield elements. This is a similar treatment that you've seen on their Tucson, the Santa Cruz, and the new Elantra, where the grille elements sort of blend into the lighting components. In this case, what looks to be the headlights are actually just the blinkers. The daytime running lights have also been reconfigured to give it a wider presence on the road. I think this is a pretty significant design upgrade compared to the original Hyundai Palisade. Everywhere else, the Palisade looks about the same, which is great. The amount of chrome is tasteful. I like the blacked out C-pillar, which gives a wraparound glass appearance. And the calligraphy trim for this year gets a new 20 inch wheel design. So exterior design wise, I think this is an attractive three row SUV. It looks bold and powerful, and it looks like a proper flagship model for the Hyundai brand. So I'm giving the exterior design a rating of eight out of 10. I wanna know what you think about this new look, so please leave your thoughts in the comments. Inside, the Hyundai Palisade gets a very slight redesign. It now has the new Hyundai steering wheel, which I find very comfortable to hold, and it's also heated, which is a plus. The dash and the vents gets a slight design tweak, so it now looks a bit wider in this car. Other than that, it's the same Palisade interior, just like last year's model. For the calligraphy trim, you still get the dual 12.3 inch screen displays. The center console still gets the button style shifter for the eight speed automatic transmission. And the buttons, the drive mode dial, the storage, and the cup holder designs are all pretty much the same. The front seats are covered with Napa leather. They're heated and ventilated, and they have a good amount of motorized adjustments to them. I also like when you change the car to sport mode, these bolsters will thicken up so it can give you more lateral support. For the second row, this is the seven seater version of the Palisade, so you can get some captain's chairs. There's a ton of rear legroom back here at 42.4 inches. The second row can recline and slide, of course. This is the calligraphy model, so there's a wing out style headrest like the ones you'd find in an airplane. These seats are also heated and ventilated. And those settings can be found in the center console. And by the door cards, you'll find some more cup holders and also the same type of leather inserts that give the Palisade a luxury car kind of vibe. Now to get into the third row, the second row chairs have two buttons that will easily get itself out of the way. And once you're back there, the third row is not a great place for an adult to sit for a very long time. I'm only five foot eight and there's really not a lot of headroom or legroom back there. But what's new for the 2023 model year is that these third row seats are now heated, which is a first for Hyundai. As for cargo space, with the third row still in the upright position, you can find a very convenient 18 cubic feet of space. There's also a false floor, so you can keep your wet and muddy stuff down below. And if you wanna lower the third row, you can do so with the buttons on the left-hand side. With the third row down, the storage space increases to 45.8 cubic feet. And when you completely collapse the second row, you'll get 86.4 cubic feet of space. This is a very spacious SUV. So I'll give the interior a rating of eight out of 10 because there's a ton of interior features in this car that makes it feel more expensive than the price tag suggests. There's also other nice additions that give it that premium feel like the dual pane sunroof, the microfiber headliner, the venting along the roof, and also that rear sunshade. Now let's move on to the technology. And in this calligraphy trim, you could find this 12.3 inch infotainment display. 
the screen works pretty well and it has a very clean and straightforward design. There's built-in navigation in this car and in this home screen you get this faint display of your navigation so it sort of looks like wallpaper art. There's plenty of built-in features in this infotainment system. There's a built-in Wi-Fi hotspot. There's a voice memo feature in here. So if you want to record anything, you could do so. And there's also passenger talk. So this will amplify the driver's voice so he could talk to your second and third row passengers a bit easier. And as expected, there's Apple CarPlay and Android Auto in here as well. Although you still have to cable it in. And to do that, you have to plug in through this USB port. And there's also a wireless charger in here. And what's new for the 2023 model year is that this has been upgraded from five watts to 15 watts. So you can wirelessly charge your phone a little bit faster. And what's also neat about this wireless charger is that since Hyundai has a digital key, you could put the digital key in your phone. And when you roll up to your car, you could just put your phone on the handle, open the car, put the phone on this wireless charger, and then press the start button. The phone will act as your key. And if you also have an Apple watch and you have the digital key in the watch, you could bring it by the wireless charger, hit the start button, and off you go. As for the digital instrument cluster, Hyundai has been incorporating these nice displays in more of their cars, and I think that's great. These are nice looking displays, and since this is the calligraphy model, this also has the 360 degree camera view. And what's nice here is that when you turn on your blinkers, that camera view is projected onto the gauges. I still think that's one of the smartest ways all of these car technologies are converging to make life a little bit easier for the driver. As for the safety features in this car, there is a ton. I've already mentioned the 360 degree camera view, which also makes parking and maneuvering around town just a bit easier. The rear view mirror can also turn into a rear view camera so that if you have a ton of people or stuff in here, you can still get a clear image of what's behind you with no blind spots. There's also the highway driving assist, which is really clever. The adaptive cruise control works pretty well and the lane keeping system feels very good and doesn't ping pong between the lanes very much. And of course there's forward collision avoidance, blind spot monitoring system, rear cross traffic alert, and a bunch of other assists because there's plenty of sensors around the car. Speaking of sensors, there's also an ultrasonic sensor for the rear seats that can detect movement. So if you accidentally left your pets or children back there and it detects movement, it will beep the horn. And if you have the blue link activated, it will send you a notification to your phone. And we might as well mention this now because USB ports is the new cup holders. There's a ton of USB ports in this car. There's one down here underneath the floating center console. There's one by the wireless charger. There's a USB-C port by each front seat. And there's more USB-C ports in the third row. And if you need traditional outlets, there's a bunch of that here as well. So for technology, I'm giving this one a nine out of 10 because there's so much tech value in this calligraphy package in both safety and convenience features. I would give it a perfect 10 out of 10 only if it just had wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. Now let's talk about power. Nothing has really changed about the power plant or the drivetrain in this 2023 Palisade. It's still powered by a 3.8 liter V6 that makes 291 horsepower and 262 pound feet of torque. For the size and the ability to transport up to seven people, I think the amount of power is good enough, but you won't be impressing anyone from a stoplight. This SUV can tow up to 5,000 pounds if your trailer has brakes built in. And since this is the all wheel drive model, it also adds tow mode. So when you press the button on the left hand side of the dash, the Palisade will try to keep the transmission at lower gears when it can. And you could tell the car what kind of load you're carrying between light, medium, and heavy. Also, when you switch the drive mode dial to sport, the H-Track all-wheel drive system has a variable torque split clutch. So it could send more torque to the rear axle for a sportier driving feel. But in terms of the power, I'll give this a seven out of 10. With the engine and all-wheel drive, you can go zero to 60 in about six and a half to seven seconds. That's not slow. And with the ability to tow up to 5,000 pounds, this Palisade is also capable. And in terms of fuel efficiency, this will get you 19 city, 25 highway, and 21 miles per gallon combined. And that's with regular 87 octane fuel. For a V6, that's not too bad at all. 
Now let's move on to the driving experience, and I want to first start with the ride quality. The Hyundai Palisade has an okay ride quality, considering it doesn't have clever, adjustable, or air ride suspension. The ride is a bit on the stiff side, and rough roads can feel a bit tough. The 20-inch wheels is probably not helping very much. Road and wind noise is not too bad either, and it adds to the luxury car illusion that the Palisade, at least the calligraphy trim, is trying to exude. Handling-wise, it's pretty decent for the size of the vehicle. In back roads like this, the Palisade feels planted and capable. The steering also feels light, but you can stiffen it up by going into sport mode. Whichever mode you're in, there's pretty good feel and response. As for the 8-speed transmission, it works pretty good, and if you want to shift manually, you could do so with these paddle shifters. I also want to emphasize here how much the driving assistance tools add so much to the driving experience. The highway driving assist takes a lot of the fatigue out of long highway drives. The lane keeping system is really very good, and it's such a big improvement compared to similar systems that you'd find in other cars four to five years ago. And with the addition of the camera feeds and the gauge cluster and the blind spot monitoring system, you're pretty well covered safety wise. So I'll give the driving experience a rating of eight out of 10. The ride and handling qualities are pretty good overall considering the size of this thing. Add to it the good looking design inside and out and the luxury air of it all. Driving the Hyundai Palisade also makes you feel pretty good. So wrapping up, the Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy is a feature-packed three-row SUV that looks like it can hang with other luxury cars. It certainly has the technology and the feature set you'd find in cars much more expensive than this. With the facelifted design, this is now the best-looking Palisade out there, and arguably the best-looking three-row SUV that can be bought at that $50,000 mark. That is, if you can still find one. So I'll give this Hyundai Palisade an overall rating of eight out of 10. Now, I don't normally talk about warranties in my video reviews, but it is worth mentioning that Hyundai has the best warranty in the industry. That 10 year, 100,000 mile powertrain warranty adds so much peace of mind to the customer. And if I were personally in the market for a three row SUV, that's around the $50,000 mark, this would be at the top of my shopping list. Well, there you have it. That's my review of the 2023 Hyundai Palisade Calligraphy. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you've learned something from this video, please consider hitting that like, subscribe, and that notification bell so that you can be notified anytime I make a new video. Let's wrap it up right there. My name's Hanson. This has been the 2023 Hyundai Palisade, and I'll see you in the next one.